All right, welcome to the Kirkwood School District description of matter. We are describing matter based on its physical and chemical properties as well as identifying physical and chemical changes. Our goal today is students will be able to recognize and classify changes in matter as either chemical or physical. First of all, we need to describe matter. Matter is any substance that has mass and takes up space. As you can see in the diagram below, you can see that when we talk about matter, there are two specific parts. First of all, its properties, the qualities or attributes of that sample, as well as its composition. What is it made up of? Chemistry is actually the study of changes in matter. And as you can see here, it's a nice little pillowcase. Chemistry is fun. Uh, a substance is a single kind of matter that is pure, meaning it always has a specific makeup or composition and properties, no matter where it comes from. And there are two kinds of properties we need to talk about. First of all, physical properties. Any characteristic of a substance that can be observed without changing it into another substance. So for example, this liquid in the picture here is blue. That is a physical property. Its color, its freezing point, its ability to dissolve, its hardness, texture, luster, which means shininess, conductivity, as well as its mass, and many other more descriptions are all descriptions, which are called physical properties. Chemical properties are different. Char chemical pro properties are characteristics of a substance that describes its ability to change into a different substance. The only way you can identify a chemical property is if you actually observe a chemical change. You must actually try and change it. So for example, if a, if a substance can burn, if it can catch on fire, if it can tarnish, rust, produce any sort of gas or react, then it can undergo a chemical change. Physical changes are pretty easy, okay? It's a change that alters the form or appearance, but does not make the substance into a different substance. So as you can see in the picture, this truck is getting run over, but it's still made of all the same things. It just looks a little different. So when a substance undergoes a physical change, it's still the same substance after that change. Physical changes are changes in what two things? Well, it can be a change in state, meaning solid, liquid, or gas or it can be a change in shape or form, for example, crushing or breaking something. When you're thinking of dissolving, dissolving is one of the most difficult, difficult properties. When dissolving sugar, is that a physical change? The answer is yes. The reason why is because sugar inside water is still sugar. If you taste the water, it tastes sweet. This means the properties of the sugar are still there, just mixed in with the water. It's a mixture. If you vaporize the water, what you'll be left with at the bottom of the glass will be a big pile of sugar. A chemical change is different. It's a change in matter that produces one or more new substances. So for example, in this sparkler here, the, the properties of the materials that are made at the end of this chemical change are no longer the same as the properties of the items beforehand. So unlike a physical change, Chemical changes produce a new substance with properties completely different from those original substances. So if you imagine that wood right there in the picture burning, when it's done burning, there is no more wood left. Obviously, it's changed into something new. There are great examples in your textbook um, that give examples of chemical changes. You can see combustion, electrolysis, oxidation, tarnishing, a description of each as well as an example. Definitely check those out. Now, all of these changes undergo or, or happen at while a process occurs, changing from one thing to the next. This happens, and when it happens, the law of conservation of mass is observed. This means that nothing, no mass, nothing can ever, ever, ever be created or destroyed. So when you take a piece of paper and rip it in half, it will have the same mass as it did prior to that full sheet of paper being ripped in half. Matter cannot be created or destroyed during any chemical or physical change. So for example, here's a chemical reaction that is a combustion reaction. You can see over on the left side, methane reacts with oxygen and fire. So there's one carbon, four hydrogen, and four oxygen molecules. When that combustion re reaction occurs, everything rearranges. We get carbon dioxide and water as our products. You'll notice one carbon, four hydrogen, four oxygen. This holds true to the law of conservation of mass. You can see the amount of carbon does not change. The amount of hydrogen does not change. The amount of oxygen does not change. This is a law that holds true in all physical and chemical changes. Throughout this video, we have 
recognize and classify changes in matter as chemical and or physical to wrap it up with this great video, and I like his accent, that teaches you a little more about examples of things that are both chemical and physical changes. Check this out. Each of the changes shown here are physical changes. A material has changed, but it is still the same stuff. It is still the same substance. Tearing a strip of paper changes the paper, but it is still paper. Water boils to form steam, which is water in a different phase or state of matter. Steam, in turn, condenses back to water, the same substance in a different state of matter. A length of wood is cut into smaller pieces, but it is still wood. Kool-Aid dissolves in water, but it is still Kool-Aid. In chemical changes, a new substance is formed. For example, baking powder and vinegar combine chemically to produce carbon dioxide, a new substance. Propane gas burns in a barbecue to produce carbon dioxide and water, new substances. When sulfuric acid is added to sugar, there is a chemical change. The gas released is a mixture of steam and sulfur dioxide. The black solid formed is carbon. If we look closely, we can see where the gas has been released from the solid. New substances have been formed in this chemical change.